Hey guys, Boris Lasswick from BK Forex. Welcome to our daily Forex technicals for 2.14.13. Euro and cable are starting to really break down. Uh, past performance not indicative of future results. Trading Forex carries high level risk and not be suitable for all investors. High degree of leverage can work against you as well as for you. And before deciding to trade any such leverage products, you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk capital. The possibility exists that you can sustain the loss of some of your initial investment, and you should not invest money you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with trading on margin and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. The information, including commentary trade ideas, provided by VivekForex.com, should not be relied upon as substantive research and should be performed while. Uh, before making investment decisions, BK Forex LLC and BK Forex are merely providing this information for your general information. Information opinions presented did not take into account any particular individual investment objectives, financial situation, or needs, and all investors should obtain advice based upon their unique situation for making investment decisions. We're not responsible for any loss occurred or investments be made by clients, and, and as a result of this um, information, we do not render investment tax legal or other professional advice. And such advice is needed. You should seek uh, you should seek advice from a prof uh, competent professional. Okay. So much going on here right now. We're going to start with the most important trade of the um, uh, of the session right now. Obviously, euro dollar, and this is very interesting. Euro dollar broke down today very badly because the German and the French GDP were much weaker in Q4 than the market thought. This kind of really put a crimp in the whole notion that uh, the eurozone is recovering or at least stabilizing. And we took out a couple of very key levels. Yesterday, we noted that the 34.25, um, 34.25. 3350 was the range prior, right? And we were circling in that right range. We broke out yesterday, tried to make 35, made 35 and could not hold it. And then we dipped, but we, we held below the 3525 range for most of, you know, let me come back in here, properly market, 3425 range, for most of um, New York session and held above it on a relatively, you know, in a relatively uh, supportive fashion. But then once 3525 was given, we're back deep into the range. Of course, now the natural support is the lower end of this range of 3350. If we break that, that would be incredibly bearish. That would really suggest a much more steeper unwind in the euro. But now basically we're range bound with a negative bias with 3425, 3450 now as the, uh, as the first order of uh, resistance. This was the, this was the uh, support that kind of broke down. Um, as the market digests all of this uh, negative data. So now 35 becomes a much greater challenge because obviously the breakdown here puts a much more negative spin on, on the trade. And 33.50 is, is the more natural near-term target as a support for, uh, uh, for where we were before. We'll have to see how this resolves. Of course, this breaks down further. This really opens up a uh, complete unwind and creates a very negative lower, sorry, let me just get this properly, lower highs construct that we're seeing here which would be a real unwind of the uh, of the euro rally that we've seen at the beginning of the year uh, cable just continues to uh, fall this this time it was really falling pretty much in uh, sympathy with the euro and it broke the 55 handle and that was a, a major support level now a lot of a lot of uh, conversation out there is a 54 50 optionality on, on the trade and it may very well be tested now as cable continues to just simply dive lower uh, with uh, with every single day although We've been saying that there is a point here where it's becoming grossly oversold and perhaps a bounce will be due, but uh, the bounce that, that we thought were going to materialize around the 50, uh, 55, 50 level simply hasn't happened. 55 now got taken out. We have to see some evidence of, of, of a rebound before you can even be convinced that there's worth, worth time to, to try to trade a bounce. Um, if you go back on the, uh, on the dailies all the way to the full year, um, we really don't see much support here. So basically, right here around this uh, this 55 level, this is this is a level from last July. Um, so it is reasonable to expect that we could consolidate a little bit. I guess um, for those who are very very aggressive, you could trade a breakout above the 55s if we consolidate sort of a 55 uh, 55 10 55 15 break uh, higher using whatever the current low as a reference point of support. Uh, but it still looks very, very ugly and very, very tentative. Uh, it's deeper support here at around the 54 level, which perhaps may be the, the real true, true support here for, for the pound as it tries to uh, consolidate. But it's just been a very, very ugly uh, construct for the pound as it continues to just stutter step all the way down uh, to the lows. In contrast, Aussie holding high. Aussie is, I think, just simply getting a huge amount of benefit from the calm dollars. We see uh, the big story of the day today was actually the Kiwi, which just really did well. Where's my Kiwi? Kiwi had positive data. That really helped push it up and push it up significantly all the way up to 85. So Kiwi's been just holding up a lot of the calm dollars up 
Um, and we're back in the idea where Aussie goes up, Euro goes dollar, Euro goes down. Euro Aussie clearly getting spanked today. Let's take a look at the Euro Aussie. And let's look at it on a more uh, closer level. And you see a big breakdown here. We're back down to below 20, uh, 2950. And I think that trend may actually, may actually continue this, this uh, Euro Aussie trend. And it's reasonable to think that perhaps we're going to get up to 20, uh, 2900 as the day goes by and the unwind, um, uh, unwind occurs. Now, lastly, yen, yen is just sort of hanging. Um, Yen G Japanese GDP was also weak. Yen kind of hanging in the balance here. You see that this 93.50 has become a very um, interesting equilibrium level. If you were to subdivide all of this, this is kind of an interesting look. The 93.50 is the equilibrium. 93 still holds as the bottom of this range, and of course the 94 is the uh, um, uh, is now now become the uh, the big the move to the to the top side. The move the, the move big resistance to the top. 94.50 of course is the ultimate high. Um, but yen continues to hold above 93.50. The highs 93.77 uh, of the day today. Break those. It's reasonable that we're going to go back to the 94s. On the low, it's 93.13s. We take those down. We're going to test 93s. But uh, not much going on in the yen, as I think, as everybody is just simply waiting to see what happens next. The G20. So that's pretty much how everything wraps up. Wish you guys the best of luck and the best of trading. This is Boris Schlossberg. Over and out.